All right, everyone, welcome back to the Mood of Anatomy. So today we have a pretty cool thing for you. Um, I've been talking about doing this for a while and today just happens to work out perfectly because I got my new lens. So street photography slash car photography is something that I'm always watching. And so I kind of want to take you guys along with me. Um, thanks to the homie Easy for all the tips and everything. So uh, we're gonna, I'm gonna put all my, my uh, settings and you guys are gonna see my mistakes and um, always taking uh, any good commentary, any suggestions, uh, leave them. I can always learn. So yeah, the first place that we're gonna be shooting, and I'm gonna put my GoPro on my head. I just wanted to get some good lighting for the beginning of the video. Um, so you guys are gonna be walking and seeing the same thing that I see. I gotta put on my mic. So I'm really gonna be looking funky for anybody that sees me outside, but I'd rather have that than, um, you know, not get good audio. And then, this is a new setup on the camera, which I'm super excited. So obviously you guys know it's the 6400 um, camera, Sony, and then the new lens, which I don't know what the name is, um, but I forgot. I'll put it on the, on the description. And, than a lens, another lens. Um, so yeah, that's what we're gonna be doing. So first location is this little spot right here. And I thought it was gonna be a little bit more isolated, but I guess it's not, so it's okay. We gotta deal with what we gotta deal, so. So you guys can see my little setup here. I got the GoPro and I also mic, I'm mic'd up, so the, the GoPro mic is all over um, my face, but it's okay. The point is to have fun, I think. Um, so let me give you guys a little background story. Let's see if this angle is even gonna work. Seems like a little, a little too dark. Um, so let's lower the shutter speed, which automatically gives it more light. A lot more light actually, cool. Um, super important to get a tripod when it comes to night shoots, just because you don't want any shakiness as the shutter goes off uh, we're gonna do single shots just because i don't want to do multiple shots obviously that's just taking a sweet time oh that's so good no way i would be able to take that with handheld um i do want to do handheld so for those who may be wondering um why did you get this type of lens see like oh i didn't okay so let's see definitely blurry so i'm not sure what i did wrong Check it out. Maybe let's do let's do one thirtieth. I think that's how it's pronounced. Let's bring the ISO ISO a little bit. Put an aperture. Keep it at the lowest level. Here we go. Focus and take the picture. See how that goes. how much okay there's a little bit of glare or not glare but I feel like it's not focused completely so we're at the second location it's way too crowded I thought it was gonna be a little bit emptier this time of night but I guess not so we just have to deal with it and um, I think I'll be back some other time uh, and shoot a little bit way later Usually I shoot around. Right now it's 8.16. Usually I shoot at 10 and so I never had this issue. So, oh well. Gotta deal with it. So. Getting all these weird looks. Because the camera is on my forehead. But the cool thing is that it's 2022 and everybody has a YouTube channel. And if you don't have a YouTube channel, you probably should start one. So. What I'm trying I'm not gonna lie, I'm getting I'm getting a little overwhelmed with the fact that it's there's too many people and I don't like that. I wanted to be by myself. There we go. So right off the bat, I would need a little bit more space to get the four back in, but let's try that for a little bit. Just as a test run. So many cars passing by. So I think that's a little too fast. 
Man, this, this lens is so long. Back it up even more. Right there. Right there. Cool. All right. Let's try this out again. I'm getting a glare. I'm going to take out the lens, see how that comes out. Okay, so it was definitely the lens that I had on was creating a glare, which I think is supposed to do the whole opposite. Go ahead. So it's supposed to do the whole opposite, and it was creating the, the glare. I'm also, my tripod is not quite straight, so let me figure that out. Messed with my, took out the lens, and now I'm also messed with the tripod. Still sideways. I don't think it's, I think it's a tripod at this point. I think it's me. All right, let's try that. Let's see how that picture comes out. Cool. Okay, let's see how crisp that image is or is not. That's good. Oh yeah, that's good. Okay, I like that. Okay. My confidence is coming back. Just the location of it is not the greatest just because one too many people, but that's okay. All right. Now we're getting a little bit more comfortable with the changes. Cool, there you go. I think that's gonna be a nicer shot. Let's try this one right here. Oh, baby. Look at that. Let me see, I'm not trying to hit it too low. Can I work on that? Oh, there you go. My tripod was not standing right. Now there it is. I'm gonna go with that. Let's put it on focus. And then let's see how that is. You guys can see what I'm doing. Cool. A little bit of a blur, so it's not quite a bit of a sharp. So let's do even lower shutter speed, see how that works out. So I really wanted to be in front of the place where they sell pies, but unfortunately there's no place for me to park there, so. Let's do one fifth. Is that the lowest? And then ISO, right there. So I'm gonna ask my, my buddy Easy why if it's a if it's a subject that's not moving like the car, why is creating such a blur? Waiting for the other car to pass by. There you go. Now let's see how that one came out and the quality of it is pretty good. I like it. Much crisp right there. Much, much better. Okay. I like that. Second location failed, I would say, but I think that's more like user error. I think that if I get a little bit of better lighting, I'm gonna... Oh, he was gonna move his car. If he moves his car, I can probably get a nice side angle. We'll see. And I didn't bring my other lens, so this lens is <laughs> a little too aggressive for closer range subjects. So even right here, you're gonna be able to see that. There's better lighting, but I'm way too close. So that wouldn't work out. But the gentleman's gonna move his Range Rover, so. That's good. Because then I can get a sight profile. All right, I'll go back there and see if I can do something with that. ISO's at 500. I would definitely want to lower. Let the car pass by. Ah, um, uh, no. Ah, <laughs> uh, no. Okay. Let's try a different location. Let's see. Was I even able to get one image on that? Man, these EVs. Electrical cars, man. I can't even hear them. Uh, <laughs> it's okay. So, oh well. 
Uh, second location, I think it has potential, but I just need to uh, move the car in a little bit more light. But to me, it's just like a good way of telling myself that, you know, we all, we all learn different and I'm really not afraid of make put my mistakes out there i mean i don't know that's just that's just my mentality man so we've been at, out here for about an hour now and um i put on my walking shoes so that way <laughs> i wouldn't be struggling so thinking this building right here would be pretty cool and we can park it right here where the trash can's at. So let's move the trash can up to the side. I promise I'll put it back. All right, I really like this whole barnyard um, garage type of feel to it. So hopefully we can get some good images. I think the lighting is good, decent, I mean, it's night. I would love to have this parking logo there instead, but can't. He's in Burger King. Can't have it your way. So that's where we're at. That'll be the shot. But so one of the things that I I was not aware of is how like long this lens is. It, it has so much reach. It's quite impressive. I keep having to back up more and more and more and more so there you go i think i'm barely finally getting the entire shot and i'm very far away so let's see let's just test run so obviously gotta practice my settings a little bit more let's come here from this angle i may be able to shoot from the top of the trash can that may be able to give me the extra height that I want. So, let's say. Alright. Let's see how we are from here. Man, this lens is... Shoot, I don't know how I feel about this. Uh, I feel like the lens is really, really um, long. Uh, let me see if I can do it from this side. I didn't realize how different of a lens it is compared to the original one that came with the 6400 but I'm starting to see that this is from like really really far far away subjects and I wanted this camera for um, rolling videos but I don't think I'm gonna be able to use this for rolling videos just because I need to really be away from the subject to be able to get it um, Otherwise, it's just not, it's not the business, man. Here. Way, way farther. We're keeping at one fourth ISO 500. Cool. Um, obviously, I'll be doing um, hand, hand shots in the parking since there's lighting and I don't have to mess. My shutter speed can be a little bit faster, but when I, when it's so dark I gotta slow it down but I still I haven't been able to get the actual barn <laughs> because it's these lens over there down this alley it's a it's a um, brewery so let's lower this tripod a little bit and let's use the top of this post right here to help me get a little better angle and see if that helps with my shot from far away 
which it is but now the fence is showing and I don't really want the fence to show so let's move here how about here wow this this lens is so freaking awesome I'm like from super far away and it feels like I'm right here so let's see now we can zoom a little bit not too much I took it with the person behind just so we can see the motion there you go perfect see that's exactly what I wanted to show all right so this is the current setup and this camera and this lens does magic we can get a decent shot here at least Let's see how we're doing my tripod's not big enough there we go still 120 immediately let's lower it to one third cool let's lower the IS ISO a little bit more and then let's do one fourth. See how that. So, been out here for about two hours, just in general, um, just chilling. Um, I don't know. I, I enjoy doing things like this. I'm pretty weird, um, but I mean, do what makes you happy. Otherwise, what's the point? All right. Mm, I mean, I guess better lighting, not necessarily amazing, but better lighting. Let's back it up. Let's see. Right there. That angle right there. A little bit up. I passed by a 7 Eleven that had very good lighting. And, uh, I don't want to turn around, so I'll hit that one up next time. Let's bring the ISO quite a bit high just to see what we can do with that. There we go. Let's back it up a little bit more. I want the whole entire logo or the, the entire design. Design. The entire sign for the liquor store to show. Of course, it's not going to show because it's pretty far. Let's keep at that though. Okay. Still one. All right. So, looks like we're coming to an end of this night shoot. Um, I mean, it got me walking, it got me doing things. This side profile of my car is just quite a sight to see. Right there. Right there, right there, that's a shot. Like I said, um, you guys obviously saw my mistakes today. <laughs> Not perfect by any means. Um, focus, there you go. Let me lower it to five and then ISO and bring it to that and right there. Whew. All right, I don't know if you guys can see me. I'm gonna go over to the light. Thank you guys so much for the support cool because the guy that uh, I think owns this spot he has a couple of Datsuns he has a 620 or 521 and he also has a 240 so anyways we're gonna call it a night um, pretty good shots I like 
how they came out. Well, we'll see. Once I get to editing, I'm gonna be like, man, there was a lot of shots that I were super blurry. But honestly, I hope you guys enjoy this. Just hang out with me for a couple, couple minutes. Of course, the video is gonna be way shorter for you guys, but I appreciate the love and the support. It's time to get some rest because today's our work work day. <laughs>